Welcome back guys. Well, I know it's been more than a month since BCCI announced the IPL retention rules. But the reason why I waited this long to make this video is that I wanted the Bangladesh India T20 series to get over. So in this video, we will be discussing about the possible retentions ahead of the mega auction. So before that, let us do the rituals. If you are watching my channel for the first time, subscribe to Crick Pundit for more quality cricket content. Let's go. So, who are the players that the Chennai Super Kings will retain? Number one is obviously the captain Rutraj Gaikwad for 18 crores. Number two, Ravindra Jadeja for 14 crores. And I hope that Jadeja will not have a problem for being retained for 14 crores instead of being paid 18 crores ahead of Rutraj Gaikwad because things have not been good for Jadeja as captain of CSK and as a captain <clears throat> I personally think the captain should be given the first priority since Kaikwad will be retained for 18 crores and I really think that those I mean the difference of 4 crores will not be mattering for Jadeja because he has been a CSK player over the years he's been playing for CSK since 2012 for the past 13 years so I think the atmosphere that he gets in CSK is more valuable than those 4 crores so 1 and 2 is sorted out Number 3 is Shivam Dubey. I have a huge temptation to go for Matisha Patirana and get him for just 11 crores. But <coughs> there are no many Indian finishers in the market. So if Dubey goes into the auction, he'll definitely fetch more than 11 crores. So my third retention would be Shivam Dubey. And number 4 and number 5. I don't think they will retain number 4 and number 5. Instead, they will use their RTM cards for players like Matisha Patirana and Rachin Ravindra. Well, I'll discuss about Ravindra later. Matisha Patirana will be the fourth retention or rather the fourth player to be retained as an RTM card. Because I don't see another bowler like Matisha Patirana in the market. Maybe Nuan Tushara is another one, but there is a great difference between the quality of these two players. So, Patirana is number four. Finally, Rachin Ravindra. I know that many of them, many of you guys will be keen to go for Devon Conway. He did really well for us in 2022 and 2023. But Rachin Ravindra is our future. I'm making this video after his match winning performance at Bengaluru. The way he plays the spin and he's also a bowler for us. Well, we don't need another wicket keeper until we have MS Tony because I'm coming to that. He will be the uncapped Indian player. So, while looking in ahead of the future, I don't think Devon Conway will play the IPL for another 5 years. But I can see Rachin Ravindra playing IPL for another 8 to 10 years. So, Rachin Ravindra will be a huge, huge investment for us going in forward. So, Rachin Ravindra will be my 5th retained player as my RTM card will be exhausted. So, finally, the Indian uncapped player is MS Dhoni. There is no other option. In fact, we all know that this rule is particularly being insisted there just for MS Dhoni to play this season. So that is it. Number 1 is Rudraj for 18. Number 2 is Ravindra. Ravindra Jadeja for 14. Number 3 is Shivam Dubey for 11. Number 4 will be Matisha Patirana by using RTM. Number 5 Rachin Ravindra again by RTM. Number 6 will be MS Dhoni for 4 crores as an uncapped Indian player. So guys, these are the possible retentions according to me according to the reports which are going around, according to the videos from the franchises that we could see and you might have difference of opinion. So if you like this video, hit the like button and for more quality cricket content, subscribe to Crick Pundit. Thank you.